Welcome to Preparing Course Content Using the Commons. My name is Kathy Long and I'm the Senior Training Specialist for the Center for Instructional Technology. Today I'd like to talk to you about best practices in loading courses from the statewide library of online courses that are located in the Ivy Learn Commons. The Center for Instructional Technology maintains a statewide library of over 300 online courses. If a course is in the statewide library, it is the only online version of the course delivered to students. Now, faculty can make modifications as described in ASOM 7.5.2, and you are encouraged to do so. Although these courses have been designed for online delivery, faculty can also use these courses for traditional or hybrid sections. All courses in the statewide library of online courses can be accessed in the Commons, with the exception of courses that use inclusive or open education resources. These courses are loaded by the Center for Instructional Technology. Online faculty will prepare their courses for online delivery by loading content from the Commons. The following are the recommendations, best practices, and how-to instructions for using the Commons. Please note that we highly encourage you to upload the latest and greatest from the Commons. Um, if you had been using content from our spring semester, there have been multiple changes in our templates, uh, course content, and how the third-party content processes work. So please plan on uploading the newest, latest, and greatest courses from the Commons area. There are two options that we're going to discuss today. One is downloading content from the Commons, and the other one is importing content from the Commons. So option one is downloading content from the Commons. And the things you need to know about downloading is that this is recommended for our 16-week courses. When you download, this preserves the due dates established in the master course. So faculty do not have to be fumbling through adding due dates to items that has already been done for you in the master course. And when you download, those due dates are preserved. Downloading also preserves third-party content links. The potential issue when you download is that downloading can be stalled by large course sizes. If you receive this error, please put in a help desk ticket and we'll be glad to assist you. Let's take a look at what um, downloading content looks like in the Ivy Learn platform. By default, Ivy Learn opens up to the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and select the Commons from the Global Navigation menu, which is located on the left side of the page. When I select Commons, this takes me into a large repository of the whole Canvas community. So everyone who uses Canvas can add content, modules, quizzes, whole entire courses, pictures, images, um, different items to the Commons, which is a large repository of learning objects. We would like to narrow this down when we're trying to load content from our statewide library of online courses. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this toggle switch here where it says show public resources and we're going to click that off. Okay. Then in the search field I'm going to select the course or enter the course that I'm looking for. And in this example I'm going to select Math 136. You'll see several courses up here for me, and I'm going to look for my Math 136 statewide course for the fall of 2017. To access any one of these courses in the Commons, you're going to click on the course title located in the middle of the box. When I select that, I'll have lots of different information. Over here on the left-hand side, it gives me a summary of all of the types of items that are found in this particular course. There's a brief course description located in the center of the page. And then over here on the right-hand side of the page, you'll notice there's a download button. So I'm going to click download. And this automatically populates my course download here on my toolbar. 
You can also save your download to any storage device or storage area that you would like. Now let's go back into our Ivy Learn dashboard and locate the course where we'd like to import this content, or excuse me, download this content. I'm going to go to the dashboard. And I'm going to find my practice shell. So I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit and identify the course that I want to download content into. And here's my practice shell. So I'm going to click the title of my course card. And I'm going to import, I'm going to go to my settings. And I'm going to import course content. When I do this, I'm going to select from the pull down menu Canvas Course Export Package. I'm going to choose my file by either looking for the file I just saved on my storage device, or since it's already here on my toolbar, I can also drag and drop. I hover over the Choose File button, I drop that, and you'll see that it's already been added. I'm going to select All Content, and then I'm going to select Import. This content will now populate my course. I'm now ready as a faculty member to update my syllabus document, add an announcement for my students, create any type of supplemental materials, and participate in the discussion board or in the course as needed. So that's option one. That is downloading information from the Commons, which allows you to preserve all of your due dates and also uh, allows you to preserve any third-party content links. Let's take a look at option two. Option two is called importing. So the things you need to know about importing, this is recommended for eight-week courses. We only maintain one master that's usually built for 16 weeks. So when you're teaching an accelerated online course, you need to modify that course into eight weeks. So this is our option for you. Import this course content instead of downloading. No due dates are copied when you import. So the faculty member will need to set those due dates. Okay, and you can do that through dragging and dropping or going into each individual assignment and updating that due date. This is required by all faculty to provide due dates for our students. So it's a very important detail. And if you need additional assistance on how to upload or change due dates in your course, please see your online technology coordinator or contact the Center for Instructional Technology. When you import, it also preserves third-party content links, and it also allows for faculty members to know if the course has been updated in the Commons. So oftentimes, the author of the Commons course will make an update or a change, and it will be notified in the Commons that there's been a change to that particular course. Now, the downside to that is if you choose to accept those changes, it overrides the entire course. It doesn't just update those individual assignments. So be very, very careful if you accept changes from the Commons. So let's go ahead and explore how we import content from the Commons. Okay, again, I'm going into my Ivy Learn platform and I'm going to select Commons from the Global Navigation menu. I'm going to turn off my public resources to narrow my search. I'm going to put the t uh, title of the course I'm looking for in the search field. Okay, we're using Math 136 as our example. I click on that course title. And now, from this sidebar area under Import into Canvas, I'm going to search for the course where I want that content to be loaded. Please note, if you do select All, then Math 136 is going to be loaded into all of these individual courses, and that is something we don't want to do. So be very careful, and let's um, scroll through here and find my practice shell. So here's my practice shell. I'm going to select that, 
and you'll notice that the import into course button has now turned a bright green. I'm going to select import into course and you see I have a success receipt here. You have successfully started the import and please note that it may take a while to see the changes in your course. So it will take a few minutes um, to load that content into your course but now you're ready to get started. You're ready to add those due dates, update your syllabus document, um, create your announcements and participate in the discussion board and interact with the content as needed. So hopefully you found these best options and best practices in downloading and importing content from the Commons very helpful. Um, if you have additional questions, please reach out through Help Desk Ticket to the Center for Instructional Technology. Reach out to your online technologies coordinator, or you're also welcome to visit the Faculty Resource Center, which is located on your global navigation menu here under the Help tab, and then you select Faculty Resource Center. If you haven't already joined that community, I highly encourage you to do that. Thank you again for your time, and have a great day.